maybe less than that, like a month and a few weeks or a couple of weeks or something. I, I kind of figured, like, I remember thinking, well, if I find a job, if it takes me a couple of weeks to get a job and then they hold the first paycheck and then they get paid, I was like, I'll miss this month's rent. And then they, the landlord won't want to renew the lease because I'll be, you know, so it just, I figured in my head, like, if I don't make something happen soon, you know what I mean? Like, it's just, not, you know, so I, I basically at that point decided to go back to the the street life, committing crimes, yeah, I guess, whatever you, know. you want to call yeah, it, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Um, which, you know, I was cool just working the job, you know, because I did all that street shit for so long. It was like, I was kind of over it, you know what I mean? I wanted to settle down raise a family um but yeah but then that that all happened and it was like now i'm now i'm out here committing crimes out of desperation you know what i mean like because i need to to support my kids you know mm-hmm. what I mean? um so yeah basically uh so i was thinking like i, I could sell drugs but i didn't really want to do that because i didn't i moved to knoxville and like started a family so i wasn't like i didn't know a bunch of people in the streets and stuff like i i knew some drug dealers but no you know people to sell drugs to mm-hmm. so that was kind of out of the out of the question um man i thought about every like i you know i was thinking about robbing banks anything <laughs> you know what i'm saying like you you know when you're up against the wall with a newborn baby like i'm not gonna be homeless you know what i mean so but counterfeiting kind of uh seemed like the the safest option the easiest you know just mm-hmm. print money you know what i mean yeah yeah so, yeah um and at that point uh I met this dude at the sign company I was working at and uh you know he he like uh he told me he sold some weed and like he you know a little bit of coke or whatever but uh but then he got fired from the sign company I hadn't really talked to him again and then I got fired so now I'm on uh, 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 another friend that worked at the sign company basically just called me and was like if you need any any dope or whatever call this dude you know what I mean so I called him one day and go over to his house and he was like he wasn't just selling weed. He had heroin, meth, you know, coke, <laughs> bottle, bottles of lean, yeah. fucking pills, all sorts of shit, <laughs> yeah. and, and a good amount of it. You know what I mean? So, I was surprised. So I, damn, I basically <clears throat> brought up to him, you know, like, uh, you know, I'm I'm fucked right now. I need. I'm, I think I'm gonna start printing money again. You know, if you wanna re up, you know, I'll give you these bills and you go re up down in Atlanta with them. You know what I'm saying? We could work work out some kind of deal. And he was cool with that so i basically kind of just you know started this process of like and i had a recipe when i was 19 but i wanted to make them i I mean i wanted to make bills that you know could not be detected you know for the most part Mm -hmm. um so yeah i kind of tweaked the methods i was using um experimented with different like makeups and stuff to make color shifting uh pigments and you know, and what, what kind of printer? What kind of printer did you have at that point? At that point, just a regular shitty little Canon printer. You really? know what I mean? Like I wasn't when I decided to start counterfeiting again. I was in this fucked up financial spot. You know what I mean? So I didn't have money to like invest in equipment really. Yeah, yeah. But I'm a graphic designer, so like, really, like even your regular shitty printer is pretty good quality printer. It's more of the files that you know what I'm saying the digital images. Mm. So like, I. Uh, basically focused on making the digital images as sharp and clean as i could which you know even with the shitty 40 50 dollar printer at walmart like you can if the files are really high resolution and, and clean then you can you can make them look good off of a shitty little printer really and and the better printers you get the even better you know what i mean nowadays inkjets are uh you can i mean practically print micro printing on a on a two three hundred dollar printer you know what i mean yeah shit. that's what the secret service is like scrambling about it's because now like just about anybody can print high quality looking bills you know mm-hmm. what i mean yeah. if you have like these recipes and like if you can beat the security features the the, the resolution of the prints isn't a problem anymore you know uh, what I mean? you yeah. used to you used to need these big ass presses and you know offset presses to get this fine resolution but yeah technology's gotten pretty crazy in the past 10 10 15 years so. <laughs> yeah okay damn and so once you meet the guy and you tell him you can start you know you're gonna start printing money again how soon after do you like go into action or you start getting him the money um well i went into action immediately like trying to you know experiment with uh 
different ways and get these bills to look good. Like, but it probably took me, I'd say, a month to uh, to actually have like a finished product. You know what I mean? Because mm. like the paper I was using when I was younger, uh, like it couldn't couldn't deal with it. So like, I wanted to find a new type of paper to use, and I knew it needed to be thin to sandwich two sheets together. And uh, I was having like a problem with the opacity of the paper, you know what I mean? So like tracing paper is a good thickness, but it's like translucent, you mm. know what I mean? So you can't print a strip and a watermark on tracing paper, you know what I mean? Because you'll just see it right through the right face through, of the bill. Yeah. It needs to be, the paper needs to be, um, you know, dark enough to where you can't see it through the bill, but if you hold it up to the light, you can see it, you know what I mean? Yeah. So it has to be, have that good balance of opacity. Yeah. Um, and just like randomly somehow, forget how I, I think i was just experimenting with every kind of paper i could find you know what i mean and eventually i stumbled across bible paper i, I mean i was looking at like tissue paper toilet different toilet papers the paper <laughs> that toilet paper rolls are packaged in fucking uh you know wrapping paper just everything you know any kind of thin paper i'd i'd test it and see but eventually i found bible paper the, mm. the thin paper and bibles yeah and it worked perfectly i mean really? for, for every everything you know really? what I mean? yeah God. Yeah. And, and, and so <laughs> when you found the paper, I mean, how how many papers at that point had you tested? Like, I know you say oh, a bunch, like it was countless, bro. Really? Countless. I mean, every basically for that first whole month and even after that, I'd still do this. But like at least that month, every single day, I, that was my my mission. You know, to what I mean, figure to out what find. Paper. I would go to makeup sections to look for different color shifting, nail polishes, holographic stuff, you know, just to experiment and find what works what doesn't um so like going to makeup sections art stores craft stores bookstores just everything looking for paper and and certain kinds of makeup to do because i knew like how to you know the pr print the strip and the watermark wasn't an issue you, i knew you just printed it the problems were basically the color shifting ink and the paper i would use so those two things were on my mind i was just all day every day constantly editing these images on the computer and going to the store looking for different types of paper and makeups and paints and you know yeah so uh, but eventually I, I found the bible paper and it worked perfect for for everything i needed it to um and uh i stumbled across this type of eyeshadow um it, it's it's a, a holographic eyeshadow but it's really just like a color shifting pigment you know what i mean mm -hmm. um so I found that too, and, and like basically everything kind of just fell into place. And I, I eventually printed it on this Bible paper, used the makeup, did all this stuff, and it, it like I finally had something that was good. <laughs> you know what I mean? And I knew it. So um, at that point, yeah, I was. Uh, but before I, I kind of found all this for the, the hundreds, I was selling my drug dealer friend 20s. Oh, so, so, he, so you he could were, just go re up. So the 20s were easier to make. Well, yeah, at that point, I wasn't putting strips and watermarks in the 20s. Like, oh, I was okay. just getting a good cotton cotton paper and printing them, you know what I mean? Okay. And get Because he was mixing in these 20s with, like, however much, probably, like, 10, 20,000 worth of, of real money, you know mm -hmm. what I mean? Mm -hmm. To go to uh, Atlanta to re-up. So, like, I'd just give him envelopes with, like, five grand and, and fake 20s, and he'd mix it in with all this real money. And, you know what I'm saying? I don't know. Maybe he got, I mean, he never told me he got caught by his people, but I'm sure they eventually found out. Cause then, you know what I mean? But, yeah. But so I was selling him these 20s. I finally get this recipe for the hundreds. Like I figure out, okay, this Bible paper works, all this shit. And then like literally like within a week, like I figure out this, this recipe for these hundreds. And then my dude gets arrested. They, the police raid his house for, for selling dope. You know what I mean? Mm. And they, they found counterfeit money in his house. Mm -hmm. Like that wasn't their reason for being there. Um, but yeah, he, he, one of his charges was possession of counterfeit money. So I was like, you know, fuck, <laughs> I didn't have it. Now I don't have anybody to sell these to, but I, but I, I've got this rest. I got these hundreds looking good. You know what I mean? So at that point, uh, my lease was up. So me and my wife and kids go stay in a hotel. Um, and I didn't have anybody to sell these hundreds to. So I started fucking breaking them myself, which sucked. I didn't want to do that. You know what I mean? But, uh, yeah, again, like, I wasn't really making money at this point. Like, I just, you know what I'm saying? I was getting by, selling him the 20s, whatever. But uh, but then he gets arrested, and I was like, I had, like, $1,000, if that, to my name. So we just get a hotel, 
and that lasted a few days and then it was like okay now i'm desperate again so mm. i started just going to stores you know what i mean so break, you were, breaking these you were, did you take you didn't take the money then pay for the hotel Mm-mm. oh you were no, no with fake money yeah Hell no no no, no. <laughs> in fact that's a funny story like see I, I mean obviously you put a hotel on your name you know what i mean if you give mm. fake money that's just not you right. know a good idea mm. one hotel i was staying at i was uh I was staying at this hotel with this drug dealer that I, I was fucking with. This is years later, you know, mm-hmm. or like a year later. But, uh, and I, I think I gave him like a sample hundred or something, like to show him. And what was it? I forget exactly. Basically, some, I, and I knew the person that worked the front desk at this hotel. Mm. She, and she came up to me and was like, man, I got a, a fake hundred dollar bill. Or like she mentioned it to me that she received one and i was like motherfucker because i'm staying at this hotel Mm -hmm. so like even though somebody else gave it paid their paid for the room with this fake bill like it's still i'm at this hotel like i don't want this heat you know what i mean it fucked me up so i like i even took it from her i was like here i'll fucking pay you i'll use 100 bucks just give me that you know i mean i just didn't want the police to get involved or anything so but yeah that kind of fucked me i never so basically i never yeah never used i I didn't even like to buy cigarettes or anything with a fake hundred bill just because you have to show them your id Mm, you know what i mean because if you you know they got a a paper trail yeah they they just see your name sometimes they scan your id i don't know if there's a record of that or you know what i'm saying so i was always really cautious about you know being anonymous when i'm when i'm breaking bills yeah thank you for tapping in with us in order to see more clips like this Check out this video here or check out this one here.